good morning one and all this is asma lebabu associate professor working in st model engineering college today we are going to be discuss the one of the important concepts that should be very much helpful for the all programming languages not only c programming languages so the topic certain pointers as well as the arrays how to declare the one dimension array how to read the elements using the pointer concepts how to display the array elements in the reverse order with their proper pointers we supposed to be discuss the things with the help of the example program before going to be uh, discussing this program what we are doing is that you try to understand the what is the array one dimension array what is the syntax for that what is the pointer variable actually what will happen when you declare the pointer variable what is the syntax for that all these things let me know just for the 5 minutes then go for the programming for your better understanding of the concepts now i will try to write the one dimension array first what is the one dimension array one dimension array is a homogeneous collection of the similar type of the data elements homogeneous means similar type of the elements we supposed to be stored in the arrays so generally if you want to store the variables If you want to store the values in the variables, what we are doing is that we are supposed to be declare the one of the variable like a integer. For example, what is the meaning of this one? A is the variable of type integer. Can we store the integer numbers only? Integer means the number without having that small values. I would like to store the ten numbers. For example, ten different values. I suppose we require the ten different variable names. Maybe a one. A two, A three, and so on. Again, I would like to store the fifty different values of the numbers. I am in a position to declare the fifty different variables. So that is a very very difficult to to the programmer. In order to overcome that, what we are doing is that we are supposed to be introduce the C language supports the one of the concept that is nothing but the arrays. Arrays are nothing but the collection of the homogeneous data type of the elements. in which we supposed to be store the different numbers all are of similar type with the all are more or all are referred by the same name only for example how to declare that we will see now i will try to ex explain the of this syntax as an example first one is a uh, syntax syntax of the one dimension array for example syntax data type data type data type followed by the variable name followed by the variable name moreover size of the array so that is put in the square brackets data type data types name is the primitive data types as well as the basic data type like int float char double kind of variable name is the so generally how we supposed to declare the variables same way we supposed to declare the variables moreover size of the array size means how many values if you want to store in the particular array for example we will try to take one of the example i will like to declare the integer array how to declare that data type is integer in name of the variable is the a small a of square brackets so this is a convention so generally the size will be placed on the square brackets for example 10 so what is the meaning of this one so when we declare like this the compiler allocates that 10 different memory locations to the a in which we supposed to store the 10 different integer values what will happen when you declare like this the compiler allocates the memory in different memory locations assume like this for example this is the way the memory allocated by generally so these are the different locations yeah. so generally first one represent the a of 0 second one is the a of 1 third one is a of 2 and so on last one is a of 9 consider so this is a 10 the size of the array is a 10 so 0 to 9 is a 10 locations 10 different memory locations will be allocated by the c compiler within that you supposed to be store the values maybe 15 25 10 maybe 9 8 something five values for example out of the 10 i am in a position to store the five different values all of these same integers only So this is this will happen when you declare the integer array like that. So what about the remaining memory locations? What about is that the remaining memory locations? The memory will be wasted by the 
compiler. We are not uh, simply for that how to overcome those memory will be wasted. We supposed to be discussed in the memory management functions like dynamic memory allocation concept DMA, dynamic memory allocation. How that will be overcoded? Let we will discuss. First, try to understand that how to declare the integer array. What will happen when you declare the integer array? Like this example, integer array of 10. We are within the time I am in a position to store the five integer values only. So this means of that. Moreover, when you declare like this, actually what will happen is that the base index is assuming that 1, 0, 2, 4, for example, is you know. The compiler allocates the memory in any one of the memory locations, you know. Now I would like to, so that is a moreover, how many bytes of the memory will be allocated to the particular integer array, that's also depending on the compiler. Those values may be added from the compiler to the compiler. Assume that this integer occupies the 2 bytes of the memory. 2 bytes of the memory, what will happen is that so 2 into 10, for example, 20 bytes of the 20 continuous memory locations will be allocated to the integer array by the compiler. So, assume that integer occupies 2 bytes of the memory for the particular operating system. So, that means that first location is the 1024, second one is the 1026, third one is the 1028, and so on. So, 2, two bytes will be added. So, these are the memory locations. Now, I would like to access these values. I would like to access means I would like to read, I would like to print, I would like to perform some kind of any one of the operations. What I am doing is that I am having the two mechanisms with the help of the name of the subscript array, name of the position, I am in a position to access the value. One more mechanism is that with the help of the addresses also, I suppose to be access the, the values which can be stored within the one dimensional array. Whenever you are supposed to be accessed with the help of the address values, address addresses, we require the one of the one more concept, one more variable that is nothing but the pointer variable. So that is nothing but the pointer variable. So how to declare the pointer variable? That is some for example, example, for example, integer asterisk symbol I am using, integer asterisk ptr, integer asterisk ptr. Here the point is that PTR is the integer variable, integer pointer variable, as we say now, PTR is the integer type pointer variable which can be stored the addresses of the another integer variable. That's the meaning of this one. I am repeating one more time. Integer asterisk pointer, what will happen is that PTR is the as is the PTR is the pointer variable of type integer. It can be stored the address of the another integer values. Now my intention is, I would like to store the this base address a of 0, a of, in the case of the address a of 0 starting address is called as the base address, a of 0 address is called as the base address, what is that base address, base address, base address. Now my intention is, I would like to store the starting address in the point of view, how to declare that, how to assume that for example, ptr is equal to address, address means ampersand operator I am using ampersand starting address a of 0 location ampersand a of 0 a of 0 so that means that what will happen is that ampersand means address of a of 0 can be stored in the pointer variable that's the meaning of this one can be write like this or we will have the one more convention mechanism simply ptr is equal to a simply a this is also fine both are same a is the uh, syntax in supporting form a means a is an array, no? array means base address will be stored to the pointer variable. What will happen when you declare when you assign this value is so the compiler allocates the one of the memory location which is name it as the PTR, which is name it is as PTR. Within that it, it can be holds the address of the A of 0. What is A of 0 address? 1024. Now this is pointing to this value. That's a, so that will happen inside of the compiler. That's the meaning of this one. When you when you assign the a of zero address to the pointer variable, actually what will happen is that the base address will be stored to the pointer variable. Now PTR is pointing to first value, first location. Now we are in a position to access the elements with the help of the pointer. With the help of the pointer, how do I access first address? One zero two four address is the pointer. It can be stored. How to pick the value? PTR is the address value. The value is asterisk PTR. Asterisk PTR means asterisk PTR means the value which can be stored in the particular address. 
If you want to access the address, only PTR I suppose to mention. PTR means address location. In that of the address, I suppose to be access the value which can be stored in the one dimension integer array. If you want to access that value, value in that, we are using one of the special operator ASCII PTR. ASCII PTR means the value which can be stored in the particular address that is nothing but the fifth integer. Only PTR represents the addresses. So these are all the some of the prerequisites is supposed to be required in order to perform the uh, array array operations with the help of the pointer concepts. So this is uh, uh, some outline how to declare the one dimension array, how to declare the pointer variable, how to assign the base address to the pointer variable to the pointer variable. Now the point is that we will try to understand all these things. How this will be implemented? This is with the help of the example program. We are supposed to be do that. How to execute? How our intent is so to read the elements into the array, the help of the pointers, as well as it display the array elements in the reverse order with the help of the pointer. For your better understanding, I will try to explain the same concept with the help of the example program to be seen. I 
this is in the furlough we were you know how to read for example scanner with the help of the pointer integer no percentage of that ptr value so now so ptr holding the starting address of the value that is nothing but the base address ptr base address will be stored in the pointer like this with the help of the pointer i suppose to read the value of that point is pointing to the next location how to do that ptr value will be incremented with the help of the pre increment operator pointer value ptr value simply value will be incremented that means that now the pointer is pointing to the next memory location of the array so reading is that what will happen up to this one what will happen is that exactly inside the computer what will happen is that some array is there for example again that one dimension array it can be hold the five values 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 first one is this five maybe 15 maybe 10 maybe 20 18 17 different values we supposed to be used in the one dimension array now the point is that ptr ptr is holding scan of no so initially ptr is pointing to this location point where it will now point to the first location after that ptr increment no now the ptr is pointing to exactly ptr is pointing to last location last location so this is the exact scenario in the computer side when you are up to up to reading what will happen is that so that is the exact scenario now our intention is i would like to display the array elements in the reverse order with the help of the pointer concept for that what we are doing is that the pointer will is again so that is already pointing to the last memory location now this is now with the help of the for loop this is pointing to the the pointer that will be decremented if you want to print the array elements now what we are doing is that so i value start from so now print up for example print up reverse of the array elements so this is for our understanding purpose reverse of array elements reverse of array elements reverse of the reverse of the array elements how to print that with the help of the for loop for here here the point is that now i value n value already incremented n value is pointing to last one i value start from the n minus 1 so i is equal to n minus 1 this is very very important here i is equal to n minus 1 after that i value up to i value greater than or equal to 0 finally i value decrement if you want to print the array elements or the any elements in the reverse order what we are doing is that i value run from the n minus 1 to greater than or equal to 0 make i value decrement so generally the general convention in the for loop is that i value will be incremented now our intention is to display the elements in the reverse order i value should be decremented here i value should be i value should be decre decremented here now how to print the value here the point is that simply print up print up so percentage d i would like to print the last value point is before that here we suppose to initialize the ptr to last value which is ptr is equal to and percent a of n minus 1 this is the very very important exercise aspect now the point before before printing what we are doing is that pointer value will be assigned to the last location of the array from that we suppose to display the element so print out how to display the elements with the help of the pointer variable ptr after that asterisk symbol is here asterisk means the value which can be stored from the particular address so that value will be displayed after that what we are doing ptr value will be decremented now closing of this part at the time of the reading the pointer value will be incremented at the time of displaying from the reverse order pointer value will be decremented so this is the entire program for this part finally closing of the main function closing of the closing of the main function closing of the main main function closing of the main function closing of the main function so ptr value ptr decrement minus minus closing of this one closing of the main function closing of the main function so that's how it is so this is the entire programming of the to display the array of the elements in the reverse order with the help of the pointer concepts thank you thank you all